we have a problem. There's a lot of snow this year. Problem is not the snow. The problem is we have a plow truck that needs fixing and we haven't been able to fix it yet. It's got something wrong with the injector pump. We've tried all kinds of things to clear air from the lines, get fuel to the glow plugs. Haven't been able to do it. So I'm on my way up to my buddy's house right now to take one final look. Uh, this is where we break out the power tools and hammer on it, get a lot of fuel pressure to it and try and see if we can force the plungers loose. And I'll explain in a minute here what I think is going on based what I know on what I know about the pump. But uh, this is basically a last ditch effort before we try replacing the pump. So we're gonna go up, take a look at it and see if we can't break it loose. There it is. Once I get there, our first order of business is moving the truck inside the warmer shop. Not warm, warmer. And once I remember to put the truck in neutral, we're off and running. Get it out of park. Turn this thing. After that little bit of excitement, we get the truck pulled into the shop, no problem. And before we get to working on it, I'm going to take a second to show you what I think the problem is that we're having with this truck, and it centers around the pump that pumps fuel to the injectors. I'm going to show you a video. It kind of explains the problem we're dealing with here. The thing transfer pressure can do is move across and force apart those two plungers with the quantity of fuel that we allowed to bypass the inlet metering valve. Uh, an expert who I talked to this about uh, on the forum called Diesel Place says that the issue is that these two plungers right here are stuck together. What we're gonna try to do is hammer on the outside of this pump with like an air hammer and get as much pressure as we can forcing into this whole unit so that we can force those two plungers apart because I believe that is the only issue we're dealing with. We're getting fuel out of the return line which means the transfer pump on the injection pump is working. There is fuel moving through there. Uh, so fingers crossed with a little bit of, of hammering and possibly fuel pressure we could get this to work. Naturally, the first thing we tried was the power tools. We didn't have a pump laying around, so we thought we'd try that first before moving on to the more sophisticated things. That might be a big fail. Next, in an effort to get more pressure into the housing, I clamped off the fuel return line. Then, back to the power tools. Still losing a little bit of fuel pressure, hang on. After reclamping the return line, it was time to try again. Nope, oh, shit, shit, shit. Just a small fire. It's all right. After that, it was time to add some more fuel pressure to the mix. All right, let me show you the plan on this fuel pump here. We have this fuel filter, which bypassed this old box filter. We're just gonna put a fuel pump on the downside of the uh, filter. And uh, we're going to hope that that gives it enough pressure to get some fuel to where it needs to go. Fingers crossed. I got to work on removing the fuel line, and thanks to some quick thinking, I barely spilled any diesel at all and dumped most of it right into the intake. Without any hesitation. Whatsoever. That's always fun. Oh, shit. I probably should have made sure I had the flow correct on this. Out. There we go. Out. And just by sheer luck, I got it right. Next, it was time to make sure the new inline fuel pump was going to be installed correctly. And of course, the new fuel pump fought me every step of the way. The old fuel lines were hard and not quite big enough, so I had to take some needle nose pliers and wrench those apart. Just a lot of fun working on these old trucks. I'm going to climb on this fucking thing again. I need better leverage. I needed was brute force. Get in there and wrench on it like a man. And Molly wonders why I end up coming home smelling like diesel. It's because I crawl around in the goddamn truck like it's a bed. All right, that should be all hooked up. This is some redneck here. See, this is what happened last time. 
<laughs> I hope somebody else finds this as funny as I do. This is some funny shit. With the fuel pump now hooked up, we were ready to try again, and for one blissful moment, I forgot about the diesel that I dumped back in. That's the closest we've been to something happening. There's smoke coming out the tailpipe. Although I did dump the extra diesel back into the fucking intake when I took the fuel filter off. Oh, dude, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me check the one injector we had cracked here, the couple. I thought maybe the loose injector lines we had were the cause of the problem, so we tightened it up, we tried it again, and still no luck. It just didn't give us any life. So, unfortunately, this is a big fail, and the bombshell is we're going to have to replace the no, injector pump on again. this truck. So, won't be plowing with it today, but hopefully in the near future I can get it fixed, get it running again, and do some videos of me plowing. Yeah, this is the part where we tried spraying some starter fluid in there. We banged on it with a hammer. We uh, we definitely gave it all we could. But, uh, yeah, ultimately, just going to take some elbow grease. We're going to have to tear it apart and get the new pump in. But hopefully this surprise will make you feel better about the end of the video. Well, since that was a huge fail and I'm now fogging up, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to go check some deer cameras and look for some deer and try and make myself feel better. Hopefully that makes the end of this video less disappointing. Uh, cause once again, we failed at starting the truck. And wouldn't you know it, we didn't fail at spotting deer. There was a big herd up on the hill that we got a shot at, and after checking these guys out, I went and pulled the footage off my trail cameras and saw this big tank. I think I'm gonna call him Hank the Tank. Definitely gonna be looking for him next hunting season. God, he's huge. Look at him. Beautiful. And as if to add insult to injury, it just started snowing again. Awesome. It'd be really nice to have a plow truck right about now.